In this video, we're going to see how to solve one of the biggest challenge for SOC. And I don't mean this SOC, I mean the Security Operations Center. And this is the team responsible for protecting the company by monitoring different security devices. Some of those security devices are the firewalls. Now, those firewalls, they might be from different vendors. And because they are from different vendors, it means that uh, the security analyst, the SOC analyst, the cybersecurity engineer would have to log into these different firewalls and analyze the log. Now, on a daily basis, this is not the most efficient way to do. Trust me, I've been there, I've done that. Now, is there a better way to do that? Yes, there is. By using a software or a tool that is able to integrate the logs from different firewalls vendors from different products into a single place. And the tool I'm going to show you is going to be the firewall analyzer. This is a product for managed engine and no, I'm not sponsored by managed engine. I just use their software and I believe that you either as a network engineer or a cybersecurity engineer or SOC analyst, or in case you want to work in these roles, you should be able to know how to use these tools in the first place. So let's dive into it. Okay, we'll begin by downloading the software. I'm going to share the link to this software in the video description. So just go to download and we're going to select the standard professional edition and we're going to select the Windows because I'm going to install this on a Windows computer and just press download. Okay, next we're going to install the application. Now the installation process is very straightforward, just like you would install any Windows application, just next, 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 and next. Okay, that's the firewall analyzer. So I'm just going to allow this, allow access. And you click on next, yes, next. Just confirm the ports, make sure that you're not using any application that it's also using those ports. Okay, I'm just going to skip this and we'll begin the installation. Okay, and we're going to land on this page. Now we're going to close this one. Recall that Firewall Analyzer is meant to be the central point to integrate the logs from different firewalls. So we have to forward the logs from these firewalls to Firewall Analyzer. So Firewall Analyzer will be listening on syslog UDP port 1514 and we have to configure these on the firewalls, okay? There are additional uh, settings that we can do, but for now, let's just enable syslog on the firewalls to be forwarding to firewall analyzer. And I'll be using uh, Palo Alto and Cisco FDM uh, as an example. Okay, let's begin with Cisco FTD by using the firewall device manager. So I'm going to log into Cisco and that should be, Okay, that should be the right password. So I have deployed this firewall already. So what do we have to do? So if we go to policies, I have here, I'm going to edit this uh, policy. And right now I have these uh, to be sent to this other uh, firewall analyzer. So we have to change these by this one, the firewall analyzer that I just installed. I'm going to create a new syslog server and the IP address will be 192.168.4312. The protocol type is going to be UDP and the port, if you recall, has to be 1514. So I'll type here 1514 and I'm going to send by using the management interface. So I'm expecting that FTD send the logs using these interface 192.168.43.16 that's the management interface okay i'm going to press ok so it's going to replace that syslog server so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to press ok now i'm going also uh to set the syslog on the default uh deny all okay so i'm going to replace this by the new syslog server i don't have to create again I'm just going to press OK. And now I have to push those changes okay, to be applied. 
Now, the topology I created doesn't have many devices except for probably one Windows computer. So we won't see much logs, but this will be enough to give you an idea of what you can see by using Firewall Analyzer. Now, let's do the same on Palo Alto Firewall. So let's go to Palo Alto. So I'm going to remind this later. Now, Palo Alto will require a couple of more steps. So first, we go on the tab, device tab. And we want to create a siege log uh, profile. And inside this siege log profile, we're going to add uh, the siege log, the firewall analyzer. So I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to name this as, uh, let's call this as firewall analyzer. Yes, okay, I'm just going to keep it simple siege log FWA. Yeah, that's a different one. And probably profile. More intuitive, it will be easier. Now for name, so here I can add multiple siege log servers. So the name can be anything. I'm just going to call this firewall. Um just going to change this to a new one. So firewall analyzer. Now the syslog server, that's going to be the IP address and that should be 43102. Uh, the port is going to be 1514 and we're going to press OK. OK, next we have to go to objects and here on objects we should go to log forwarding. And I missed uh, one option there before on device. So here I'm going to add a new one. So I'm just going to call this as log uh, forwarding. Uh, let's see, FWA. And we're going to add the server. And just for syslog option, we're going to select the new one. So that's syslog firewall profile. And I'm just going to enable to all the logs. So log. I don't know why it's deleted the name, so log forwarding FWA. Okay, log forwarding FWA, and I want to send all the logs. I'm just going to press OK, and that's it. Okay, and now we have to go back to device, and I also have to enable on log settings. So we're going to enable syslog on a couple of these options. So on system, we just call as I already use FWA, just system. And I'm going to add the syslog server, syslog FWA profile, save these. And for configuration, again, so just go FWA configuration. And going to add the syslog server. Okay. And for heap, going to add a new one. So FWA heap. So this is just a name. Now I'm going to reference the new syslog server and save this. And let's just confirm that everything is installed. Yes. Okay. So now we can commit those changes to be applied on the device. Okay, so just going to commit this. Okay, there is one additional step that I forgot, and that is on policies, we have to enable uh, one specific policy to forward uh, the logs by using the new syslog server. So here on Palo Alto, that should be on actions. And log forwarding now, I'm going to change to the new syslog server. Okay, and I'm going to confirm. And I'll have to commit these again. Okay, so go to device. Okay, so now I'm going to commit. Let's see the result. Okay, the pulse was successfully installed, but I actually had to stop for a minute because uh, the topology I'm using doesn't have enough machines to generate a lot of traffic. So I'm going to fire one analyzer now and if you're following step by step, you won't see enough traffic like this. But at this time, I'm already collecting a lot 
more traffic so that's where we are able to see all of these organized so we have here the dashboard that organize the traffic per firewall so this is uh 43 16 that should be uh, cisco ftd and 43 139 that should be palo alto firewall and you're going to see these organized on the top more and i want you to visualize the following if i had 10 different firewalls i wouldn't have to log into these different firewalls to have this information so i'm having this information from two different firewalls at the same place now if we go to inventory should be able to see two firewalls uh per vendor and you can see this is the firepower this is palo alto and there are some adjustments that you might have to do for instance the interface speed uh, by default, the interface speed on firewall analyzer is set to one mega. Uh, you can also enable SNMP to gather more information from the firewall. Uh, so let's see uh, some of the interfaces. So these two are the Cisco interfaces, the inside and outside. Uh, identity, this is also on Cisco. And this one is on Firepower. And you can see it's saying that it's one mega, but you have to adjust this uh let's see users so that should be a uh, user that is generating traffic so you're able to get information such as uh which user is generating more traffic on your network this is very useful for SOC team and also the most used rules okay so permit to land to internet so that should be on cisco as well default one that should be on cisco allow inside to outside that should be on palo alto the default next generation so you can see how this is organized and helps a lot on getting insights identifying threats uh from different firewalls and i believe you can also uh have some info as to which users are connected uh via the vpn uh so you're able to get a lot of detailed information all of these into a single place now this is just a small demonstration of what this tool is capable so my recommendation is that you spend some time with it in case you want to become a SOC analyst a SOC engineer cybersecurity engineer cybersecurity analyst or even as a network engineer this is a must to have and a must to learn tool now, if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.